China just stunned the world with what they're building. But here's what almost no one is talking about. While Western media keeps people distracted, China has been quietly racing ahead, constructing a future that feels straight out of a sci-fi movie, AI systems that think for themselves, machines that replace human workers, cities run entirely by algorithms, and yet barely a whisper in the West, because what's happening right now isn't just about smart cities or flying taxis. China is building something far more powerful, a robot army. And once you see what it can do, you'll realize the future isn't coming. It's already here. And China is leading it. Let's start with something that sounds unbelievable. Remember when ordering pizza meant waiting 30 or 40 minutes and hoping it was still hot? China said, not anymore. They've built a massive network of delivery drones that can drop food at your doorstep in just 15 minutes, accurate to the exact minute. A company called Muan has already completed more than 300,000 drone deliveries. That's like serving an entire mid-sized city. These drones fly along preset routes and drop packages into smart delivery boxes. No waiting for drivers, no delays. But what's happening in rural China is even more incredible. JD.com has drones that carry between 5 and 30 kilograms. They call it a pickup truck in the air. These drones are connecting remote villages that never had access to fast delivery before. Think that's impressive? Wait till you hear this. This year alone, 15 million new cars in China will be equipped with robot brains that can drive themselves. That's two out of every three new cars capable of full self-driving. And then there's the Guayo One, the world's first car with a true AI brain. This isn't just self-driving. This car can actually think and talk to you. It has an AI companion named Simo that you can speak to like a friend. You can stand outside and say, Simo, come pick me up, and it will drive to you from up to two kilometers away. Here's what makes it truly astonishing. The Guayo One runs on dual NVIDIA Orange chips with 508 tops of computing power, 11 HD cameras, 12 ultrasonic sensors, and five radar systems, more sensors than a military drone. It can park itself, change lanes, dodge obstacles, recognize traffic lights, and even make unprotected left turns in busy intersections. And have you seen BYD's Yang Wang U8? It can perform a tank turn, spinning 360 degrees in place. Its four independent motors allow each wheel to move in opposite directions, letting the entire SUV rotate without moving forward or backward. It can even crab walk sideways into tight parking spaces. The U8 can drive through nearly five feet of water, float like a boat, and propel itself by spinning its wheels, moving at three kilometers per hour. Imagine a flood. Instead of being trapped, you just drive straight into the water and float your way to safety. It can stay afloat for 30 minutes. And this isn't a concept car. You can buy it today. The IM Motors L6 can slide sideways into parking spots as if it's dancing. With its four-wheel steering system and independent motors, it cuts parking space needs by 11% and has a turning circle under 5 meters, about half that of a typical car. Then there's the BYD Z9 GT, which can literally drift sideways into parking spaces using its electric motors. It spins the rear wheels in opposite directions while the front wheels pivot, letting it slide smoothly into impossibly tight spots. And if that's not crazy enough, BYD's next creation, the U9 Extreme Supercar, can rocket from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 2.36 seconds. That's faster than you can say super speed. It smashed global records with a top speed of 496 km per hour making it not just China's fastest car, but the fastest production car in the world. Here's the part that blows everyone's mind. The Yang Wang U9 can literally dance. This $236,000 supercar has a system called Duzak that allows it to jump up to 75 millimeters off the ground, hop over obstacles, and even move in sync with music. You can actually watch a 1,287 horsepower car dancing to a beat and it's not just a gimmick. 
the Duzak system reacts in 40 milliseconds and can lift each wheel independently at speeds up to 500 millimeters per second, faster than a blink. It's more advanced than any production car ever built, outperforming Lamborghinis, Ferraris, even the $2 million Rimac Nevera. And here's what's terrifying for competitors. BYD just became the first automaker in the world to produce 10 million new energy vehicles. They're selling these dancing supercars for $236,000, less than half the price of a Ferrari. Even more telling, 85% of Chinese drivers are comfortable letting a robot take the wheel, compared to just 39% of Americans. China isn't waiting for the future. It's already living in it. The country is testing self-driving taxis in 19 cities, with 16,000 test vehicles covering 32,000 kilometers of dedicated roads. That's almost enough to circle the entire planet. But let's talk about charging. Normally, EVs take hours to recharge, right? Well, BYD just solved that. Their new batteries charge so fast that 5 minutes gives you 400 kilometers of range, enough to travel between cities with just a bathroom break. They call it the 1 megawatt charging system. That's a thousand times more powerful than your phone charger. And it's now quicker to charge an EV than to fill a gas tank. And China didn't stop there. They've also built trains that don't touch the ground, floating on magnetic fields. These maglev trains recently hit 404 miles per hour in only seven seconds, faster than most airplanes taking off. One test train even reached 620 miles per hour, literally faster than a commercial jet mid-flight. At that speed, you could travel from Beijing to Shanghai in just two and a half hours instead of five and a half. If floating trains at 620 miles per hour sound unbelievable, here's what's even more shocking. China isn't just building futuristic machines, they're building futuristic minds. While many countries still teach kids basic math, China is teaching children as young as six to use AI. Starting this year, every child in Beijing must take at least eight hours of AI education annually. That's millions of kids learning artificial intelligence before they even learn multiplication. And it doesn't stop there. 184 schools have been chosen to pilot advanced AI programs. By the time these students grow up, they'll be working with technology that hasn't even been invented yet. And just when you think China has done it all, they built an entire highway with no human workers. Using 100 self-driving haul trucks, each capable of carrying 85 tons, they constructed roads fully autonomously, even in minus 40 degrees Celsius conditions. Now companies are deploying fleets of robotic builders, 10 self-driving rollers, two massive pavers, all guided by GPS and AI. They're literally creating roads for other robots to drive on. China's next goal? 5,000 self-driving haul trucks operating nationwide by year's end. And judging by their pace, they might just get there ahead of schedule. Flying in China feels like stepping straight into the future. At 62 airports, more than 550 security checkpoints use facial recognition so you don't even need a ticket or ID. The system instantly identifies you just by scanning your face. At Shanghai Hongqiao Airport, passengers can check in, drop off luggage, clear security, and board their flight, all without speaking to a single person. The entire process takes only 12 seconds per traveler. Beijing's biggest airport features over 600 biometric checkpoints, 250 automatic gates, and 80 self-service stations, all powered by facial recognition. Everything happens seamlessly. You simply walk through, and the cameras handle the rest. But it's not just airports. Across China, cameras are everywhere, watching, analyzing, and recognizing faces in real time. The country has installed more than 200 million surveillance cameras, four times more than the entire United States. They call it the Skynet system, a nationwide network that uses AI to track nearly every person. The technology is so advanced it can identify jaywalkers, spot people without masks, and even predict crimes before they happen. 
Police officers are now equipped with AI-powered helmets that scan crowds and instantly identify wanted individuals. This technology is unbelievably powerful, and China's AI race is moving forward faster than the rest of the world can keep up. When we make online payments, we usually use cards or phones, right? Well, China has already taken it a step further. There, you can make payments with nothing but your hand. It sounds like science fiction, but it's real. Millions of Chinese consumers are now paying for goods just by showing their palms. Tencent's WeChat. Palm Pay scans the veins and lines in your hand. It's faster than using a phone and more secure than fingerprints. Over 1,500 stores already use the system, with an error rate of less than one in a million. Students pay for meals at universities with it. Travelers use it at train stations. And soon, people might not need cash, cards, or even phones at all. But here's where things get even more mind-blowing. In China, people aren't just going cashless. They're letting robots do their work. Meet the Unitree G1 robot, about the height of a 10-year-old child, but capable of pulling off flawless kung fu moves, dancing, and even running faster than most adults. Standing at 1.32 meters tall and weighing 35 kilograms, the G1 has 23 movable joints that allow it to move almost exactly like a human. It can walk, run, jump, sit, wave, and shake hands with incredible precision. It moves so naturally you'd think a person was inside. But here's the catch. It's fully autonomous. The G1 can help with simple daily tasks like carrying objects, opening bottles, or cleaning. And when you're bored, it can perform kung fu routines or dance moves that you program yourself. It's smart enough to fold itself up for easy storage, like packing a suitcase. And the price? around $16,000, which is astonishing when other humanoid robots cost hundreds of thousands. But that's just the start. They've also built robot dogs called Go2. Not toy robots, but serious working machines. Each weighs about 15 kilograms and can sprint at 2.5 meters per second. What makes them incredible is agility. They can walk upside down, flip forwards or backwards, roll and climb over obstacles effortlessly. Powered by GPT-based voice recognition, these robot dogs understand commands, shake hands, stretch, dance, and even take photos. They're equipped with 4D LiDAR sensors that provide a 360-degree field of vision with almost no blind spots, detecting obstacles as close as five centimeters away. The GO2 Pro version can run at speeds up to 11 miles per hour and follow you automatically, dodging obstacles on its own. There's even a wheeled version, the GO2W, that can roll over any surface while carrying small loads. At the 19th Asian Games in Hangzhou, these robot dogs were already working on the field, carrying javelins and discuses, and the audience went wild. They're now being used by police and even militaries around the world. And if that doesn't give you chills, this will. A company called X Robots is creating androids, robots that look completely human. They have realistic skin, lifelike eyes, natural blinking, and perfectly shaped teeth. These androids can make 140 different facial and body movements, more than many humans. Each one costs around $280,000 and takes a month to build, since every pore and detail has to look real. So far, X Robots has produced over 200 humanoids and now manufactures more than 500 units a year in its massive factory. They've even recreated famous scientists like Albert Einstein, Stephen Hawking, and Thomas Edison as talking robots that share their life stories. These androids now work in museums, hotels, schools, and government buildings across China. The company even opened the nation's first robot museum where you can meet robotic versions of historical figures. But here's the eerie part. In just a few years, you might not be able to tell if you're speaking to a human or a machine. What happens when these robots become affordable enough for everyone? And while the rest of the world is still debating whether robots should replace human workers, China is already using them in the most advanced ways possible. AI machines in Chinese hospitals can now locate veins and draw blood more accurately than the best nurses. No more painful pokes or missed veins.
Hospitals also use autonomous delivery robots that collect medicine from pharmacies and deliver it to wards within minutes, cutting down long wait times and avoiding dangerous delays. These robots navigate hallways automatically and ensure every patient gets the right medicine. And here's where it gets truly astonishing. Chinese doctors are performing remote surgeries on patients thousands of kilometers away. In Xinjiang, surgeons operated using robotic systems while sitting in completely different cities. And it doesn't stop there. Meet Dr. Alfred, a fully AI-powered robot surgeon so lifelike you'd swear he was human. He speaks multiple languages, understands medical questions, and interacts fluently like a real doctor. China has even opened the world's first AI hospital, staffed by 14 robot doctors and four robot nurses. Together, they treat more than 3,000 patients every single day, with an accuracy rate of 93%, higher than many human doctors. And if China is already using AI in medicine, construction, transport, food delivery, and shopping, of course, they're using it in farming too. The DJI Agras T100 is a powerful agricultural drone that carries up to 100 kilograms of seeds or pesticides. It sprays crops automatically, operates day or night, and uses smart sensors to avoid obstacles, helping farmers work faster and more efficiently. There's also a 108-arm cotton-topping robot that trims cotton buds across 26 to 40 hectares a day, about 120 times faster than human labor. And the GPS-enabled transplanter can plant crops over 6 to 7 hectares in a single day, doing the work of up to 100 people while saving huge labor costs. These AI-powered farming machines show just how far China has taken automation improving food production speed, quality, and scale all at once. China isn't just creating cool technology. It's creating all of it at once, and faster than anyone imagined. And this isn't the end. It's only the beginning. Every single one of these technologies is going to get better, faster, and cheaper. The real question is, when will the rest of the world catch up? And are we truly ready for a future where cameras, robots, and AI know everything about everyone.